Hello, kind people. It's Butterfly Poet. It is cycle day two. This is pre frozen embryo transfer. And um, just want to catch y'all up on some stuff. So, part in the background, but there are some happy children over there, so you'll hear some musical little toys and such, but they're happy and they're content. A nanny's job is never done, but they're all small accomplishments. So, cycle day two. I am scheduled for a baseline tomorrow and uh, uh, I'm excited about it because after months and months and months of rounds and rounds and rounds I will be transferring not one but two embryos that was a surprise to me considering how all this time we've discussed just one at a time but <clears throat> there's three clocks we're racing against my clock uh, insurance clock and um, you know with limitations and whatnot and um, AMA the American Medical Association they have limits on um, when they will do uh, retrievals and there are no retrievals once a woman turns 47 so with everything with all the possibilities, with all the uh, uncertainties that can happen during a course of um, IVF retrievals and transfers, there could be, yes? I bumped my head on, on the toy chest. I think you're fine. You're fine. You're good. They can't see you. <laughs> so you can go ahead, little ham. Um, there probably are going to be a few interruptions, so please forgive. Um, where was I? Yeah. With the uncertainties that can happen during this period, with the um, way things go, uh, you can get slammed and pushed right onto a deadline that either goes against what the doctor is allowed to do, uh, what insurance will cover or how many more you have left or anything like that. At the end of the year with the insurance ending. Okay, there was, yeah, that's fine, baby. Play, go, just go ahead, play with your toys. I'm just recording, okay? Okay, so you can go ahead. No need to consult me on any of your animals doing what they do. Go ahead. I told you it's going to be a few interruptions. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's Emma. Y'all remember Emma. Ethan's over there. He hasn't bothered me because he loves being in the basement. So anyway, um, there's a race against the clock because of uh, insurance mandates, insurance blah, 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 American Medical Association. And once a doctor's hands are tied, you know, as far as Illinois is concerned, you know, you kind of want to put all that into play. So because of these three things, she wants to transfer both embryos. Another thing is that both of my embryos are of low quality. Um, mine are day three, frozen on day three. They are um, six and eight. Those numbers mean the cells that they uh, have multiplied into and they were a little slow on the crawl, so they stopped and froze them on day three because they figured they would be uh, more uh, nurtured, more uh, more apt to be successfully um, growing inside in the womb versus the synthetic environment that they're in. A little petri dish. So I'm fine with that. Um, the odds of it. Um, being twins is not necessarily uh, of concern. Um, again, lots of uncertainties, lots of uh, rare uh, 
um, chances here, but frankly, I'm cool with it. <laughs> um, the idea is that she wants me to get pregnant, and if um, if there needs to be more time to do so, then we'll have that time, so we're just gonna go ahead and transfer both embryos, which I'm fine with. So, she's like, I just want you pregnant. <laughs> so do I, girlfriend. So, um, the team at Vios Fertility Chicago is awesome. Um, Dr. Ruhi Jelani is my girl. Like, I love her. I love that she's personable. I love her practice. I love her way of practicing. I love that she's personable with me. And I can text her directly, call her directly if I have any questions, concerns, or, or anything. She has always been available. The entire staff um, have been so supportive of me since the very beginning. And I've been with them since January of 2018 when I started my IVF journey. Uh, I've been trying to conceive and since 2015. And the way that things have just been going, it just has pushed me into this level of excitement that I'm nearly jumping out of my skin. Yet, I'm trying to be calm, I'm trying to be practical, and I just know what I'm working towards, and um, <laughs> I just want one of those little things running around. Not just a baby, but a kid, you know, and um, I, I'm just excited that I have gained the support that I have from um, relatives, um, friends that have been silently watching on the sidelines, folks that I know that are um, supportive, check on me from time to time, um, former friends who walked with me as much as they could, <laughs> and, um, you know, um, silent support is probably just as good as um, verbal. Uh, there's lots of things about this journey that people just do not understand. Uh, it's too much, it's too intense for them. Um, and there's a couple people who are like, what happened today? What happened yesterday? What's gonna happen tomorrow? What's next? And um, those couple people, you know, have, you know, been very helpful. It's been very, um, you know, key to this journey because doing this by myself, as you guys have seen in prior videos, it can be, and it is, a beast. <clears throat> so, I basically want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can in these next couple weeks. Um, so, I'm reading a few things that I should be doing. Uh, that includes some additional supplements. Um, that includes uh, some foods that are helpful during this time. Um, pineapple core, Brazil nuts, bone broth, spirulina. Um, and there's another supplement someone suggested. I think it's called selenia or selenium. I can look that up while we're talking. And um, I am definitely going to have the acupuncture 24 hours before, 24 hours after. I don't know how much acupuncture I can get done before then, but they do have a um, package that they offer at Pulling Down the Moon. And uh, they try to make it affordable for you. So I'm gonna look into that to see exactly uh, what will fit with my budget and this timing. So the way it stands now is that I'm going to have my saline sonogram next week. And I think at that time, I'll have more definite um, dates on when I can expect to transfer my babies. <laughs> I'm excited, as you can see. Um, I had a huge uh, setback with 
uh, a few things and I was doing my best to try and keep everything going and keep everything together and between having an asthma attack and um, some other technical issues that were going on um, I had to catch up on some cookie orders and what I don't want to do is disappoint my customers so um, keeping everything together is what's important to me so while I won't stop baking cookies uh, I won't be doing as many blasts and I won't be doing as many announcements I just want the orders to come in organically and um, I'm also adding a business venture to continue to raise money towards my venture and it's a novelty t-shirt biz so just some really simple yet cute t-shirts uh, for infants babies toddlers women and unisex I'm adding more um, designs to the line but um, less inventory <laughs> less labor and I believe it's something that I can um, maintain during the delicate times when I need to be either resting or being careful about what I'm doing and um, a separate printer a print company prints these shirts up and ships them out so it won't be on my hands but I can still raise money to do so it's 310 T's collection that's what I've named it 310 representing Compton Los Angeles and um, I'm gonna have different collections so right now is the pineapple collection of course pineapple is representative and it's a symbol for IVF so this collection is about moms kids and babies and they make great gifts and you can check it out I will include the link in the description below and um, just check it out they make great gifts maybe for yourself also but um, I'm gonna be adding more designs, so it's gonna get more exciting, and I'm very excited about it. So, follow along on Chipmunk Chronicles on Instagram. Chipmunk Chronicles now has a Facebook page, so I'm turning this blog, the vlog, into a blog as well, so that <clears throat> I can get more people to see what's going on, on, on with IVF and understanding it as far as from a single woman's point of view, a black woman's point of view, um, a woman's point of view, period, on how it affects your life and how it, it infiltrates your lifestyle. There are not very many women of color who are willing to discuss this. So this is why I started it and I'm glad that it has grown to what it's become to be. So. If I can help, if I can offer suggestions, if I can do anything to let someone know that um, it's doable and what's going to happen during the journey, I want to share that. And um, feel free to contact me, feel free to email me, feel free to DM me if you want. I'm very friendly. I love to answer questions as much as I can. I can offer um, my experiences. So. I also have some yeah I also have some extra unused fertility meds and I want to be able to help someone so if you or someone else is in need please contact me please I do not want these meds to go to waste <clears throat> they are um, still good for about a year or so and um, there's no need for anyone to be in need if they can't afford it and if they don't have access to it. I want to be able to help. So please contact me. I'll put all my information down in the description below. And um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. So I'll be keeping you updated um, as time progresses. Um, I'll share what's going on up until the transfer. And then after the transfer, I think I may chill for a bit, but I'll still be recording and documenting things, and then I'll drop the videos and share as this happens. As always, peace and gratitude to you. Thank you. Peace.